See that right there? That's a water snake. I'm gonna try to grab him. What is going on, Adventure Gang? Today is a beautiful day. My name is Denzel Pratt, and you're watching another episode of Mandora Explorer. All right, guys. So my original reason for being here right now is to find five vascular plants that I would take pictures of, put it on a PowerPoint, uh, create a list for the scientific classifications, and then send it to my professor. But however, I will also be looking for animals. My main objective today is to find my first snake of 2020. Oh, American toad. So my first herper today is an American toad. Um, I already have a video out on these guys from last week, so I'll have the link in the description if you guys want to check that out. But I will not mess with them any further. So. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. There's a big old, what looks like a green frog sitting on, on the edge right there on that bank. I won't mess with them because I've already seen enough of frogs. I want to see some snakes and something else right now. So. I'm gonna keep it moving. So one of the main things that I wanna be looking for is branches out in the sun, where these snakes might be basking. So anything like that with a little sunshine on it, or like on the side here, like they'll be sitting in the sun basking. So that's what I'm keeping my eye out on. Hopefully I come across something, man. It's been a long wait. Y'all, look at what I just found. <laughs> my first snake. But it just peed all over me and took a dump. My first snake of 2020. <laughs> that is so cool. This guy is a worm snake. Snake species that like to borrow. Hmm. Ooh, his poop smells so bad. There's a <laughs> stinky. There's a um a millipede right here, but I don't know. But yo, my first snake of 2020! It's a worm snake. I wish it was something cooler, but this is gonna have to do, man. We're gonna be looking for more anyhow, so. That's so cool, y'all. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures of him real quick and then let him go. All right, you guys, so I got him calmed down for pictures. I'm about to put him back under this rock, so. I like the iridescence on his skin right now from the sun, man. So cool. First snake of 2020, man. I appreciate you. I've been searching long and hard. Yeah. Put his rock back. Bend your rock, buddy. All right, y'all. There he goes. First snake of 2020. Woo! Yo, I just spotted my second snake. Hopefully, I can get him. Yes! <laughs> A little small little ring neck snake <laughs> these guys spend a lot of time being secretive underground as well so it's really hard to come across these guys I told you this 80 80 degree weather is giving me a lot of hope for this year man <laughs> beautiful man hopefully I can get this guy to calm down so y'all get a better look at him <laughs> that's so dope Obviously, you could tell by the ring on its neck why it's called a ring neck snake. These guys have a really bright coloration on the, the bottom half. Some of them have like half moons on their stomach, and then some of them has like this plain pattern. These guys are super cool, man. I barely spotted him too. He's about to get away. It's like going down in a hole or something. All right, guys, I'm going to take some pictures of this ring neck snake and then release them. I feel so good now. That's two snakes in less than like 15 minutes of each other. The next snake was like literally right over there underneath that rock. I'll take some pictures of him then let him go. All right guys, I already had this guy calm down for photos. Took a decent amount of photos of him. Now it's time for the release, man. I'll flip this rock back. Guys, there he goes. Bye, buddy. Let me meet again. You're not even going on the rock. Back on the rock. There you go. All right, man. So the search continues. I have to finish my little boulder spot. Hopefully, I come up with something else. Guys, I'm really loving this weather, man. Lovely weather we're having.
Nothing. Millipedes. Oh, little frog. Little cricket frog. It's another herb of the day. It ain't no snake, but it's my first turtle, bro. Hopefully, it's it still got something in it. Oh, are you kidding me? What the heck? This is the next box turtle. I kind of like this shell a lot, so I might end up taking it. Actually, I don't even know if that's legal, so. I probably have to leave this right here, man. But this is cool. Box turtle. Terpene, Carolina, Carolina. All right, guys. So I flipped my third snake of the day. It's a little red-bellied snake. Um, looks like a baby, a juvenile one. But I flipped them underneath this solo rock right here. I didn't expect to find anything on this, so that's why I didn't have my camera rolling. And this guy was there. So, man, this is my third snake of the day. I didn't even expect much for today, but it's going it's going good so far because of the I think the weather right now. But yeah, this is another look at this little red-bellied snake before I let him go. Actually, I want to take a couple pictures of this guy. This is my first ever red-bellied snake, so really special one for me, I guess. This guy's pretty cool, man. So I'm gonna take a couple photos and then release them afterwards. Hey, you guys, look how tiny this little guy is compared to my foot. Little baby red-bellied snake. That is so cool. <laughs> Probably just hatched this year, too. I got my photos. I'm about to let this guy go back underneath his rock. Bye, little buddy. See you in, uh, see you in the future. All right, you guys. I just found this ancient plow that I just ripped out a tree stump. It's probably been here for a couple, a couple of years, bro. Oh, a couple hundred years. I don't know. It's probably older than my granddaddy, so I'm probably gonna use it to help me flip some rocks over, and then. See if I can find some snakes. At least it's gonna keep me a little bit more safe than I was. Just in case if I flipped a venomous snake and uh, I was a little bit too close for comfort, you know what I mean? Remember when I told you that snakes like to sit on rocks and logs and bass? Well, there are two snakes sitting on these logs right here basking. Those both look like queen snakes. So, I'm gonna try to get them in hand, man. If I do, it'll be an amazing day for me catching snakes. I'll be four different species that I find. And if I don't, you guys seen them already, so. Hope, wish me luck <laughs> guys i got both of them these are both um queen snakes what these guys do is spend a lot of time eating molted crayfish that's their main prey item so they would spend a lot of time basking around little streams like this and when they have a chance to they'll be eating molted crayfish i didn't expect to catch both of these guys man that's pretty cool so i got both of these in hand for you this is my fourth species of the day man i'm on a roll today i didn't even expect to catch any snakes at all so this is really cool so I'm gonna release these guys back onto their log and let them go about their way. They're probably gonna drop right in the water and swim away. <laughs> so it's getting a little bit later in the day. Peak snake time has already passed, so hopefully I find a little bit more snakes on. Oh, one just dropped into the water, man. It was right on top of this bush pile. I didn't see him. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see that right there. That's a water snake. I'm going to try to grab him real quick if I could get him. These guys like to bite too, so I expect them to bite me. Let's see if I can grab him really quick. Look at that little pickerel frog right there. I'm checking my surroundings, man. I don't want to get bitten by anything unexpectedly. Yep. Yeah, he got me. Little water snake. Oh, big water snake. <laughs> got this guy right before he got in his little brush pile. Got away. I told you guys I heard something jump in the water. Well, I saw it actually, but this guy was hanging out on top of that um, brush pile before I came up. He saw me and he got spooked and jumped in the water. That's what they normally do. Even though this water is pretty cold, they still were jumping out to get away, so. I kind of expect a few of these guys to jump. He got me really good just now when he bit me, but it's a water snake. These guys are harmless. Before I actually started taking my biology classes that uh, took us out in the field, man, I would always get water snakes and 
um, water moccasins a little bit confused man they look kind of similar to me i'm from the bahamas we don't have any venomous snakes at all so i would just go up and grab a snake so when i got over here i got really cautious when it came to grabbing snakes and i paid a lot of attention he just pooped all over me i paid a lot of attention to like details before i actually grabbed the snake to know exactly which snake it was oh, man yo i hate the smell snake poop man <laughs> that is so disgusting this thing is starting to really burn too you got me good it's all good though i mess with him he mess with me so it's a give give take type situation right now man it's been a good day i didn't even expect this much snakes right now but let's keep it going man i'm gonna take some pictures and keep looking before the day is out i'm gonna let this big guy go back into this little brush pile that he was in He's probably gonna jump right in the water and swim away anyhow, but you know what? Maybe I should get an underwater shot. Probably gonna be my last snake of the day, so I'll probably do an underwater shot for you guys. Let me release him. Let's see how that works. Alright guys, so my first question today is how many species of venomous snakes are there in Virginia? I just flipped this log. I thought that was a snake at first, but it's a common five lion skink. If you guys watched my last video, I found one of these guys as well. So I'm trying to grab him real quick. I'm making him back up. Got him. These guys are really cool, man. They're pretty common as well, but I just like how they look. Look at that tail. What they ooh. What they do is they would like shed this tail, wiggle it as they try to escape when um predators or anything get a hold of them so that the predators would pay more attention to their tail instead of the actual moving body that gets away. That's why it's this bright blue color. It's pretty cool. That's why he's wiggling that tail a lot and he's keeping his body still. Look at that. You see that? Defense mechanism. All right, guys. I'm putting back on these log and then check these other logs over here and try and make my way back to the car. There you go. I really enjoyed this adventure today, man. I didn't expect to find this much snakes. Um, I found five, no, six different species. I think it was seven snakes. If I'm not, not mistaken. I'm going to have to check on that when I get back home and look at all the snakes that we found. But I think it was pretty good. Like, like social distances is actually working for me right now. But uh, if you guys actually like that video, man, hit that like button. If you want to see more content, hit that notification bell and subscribe. You know I'm going to have more videos dropping really soon with snakes and stuff like that. Um, if you guys have any um, recommendations for me, just inbox me or share that in my comments. And I will keep an eye out for the things that you guys want to see done. With that being said... Thank you guys for watching, man. I appreciate you. Hey guys, look at this amazing stuff. I think it's amazing. I've seen a bunch of different crops, but I thought it was awesome.